Welcome participants once again to my NPTEL MOOC module on uh, panel uh, you know survey data on in healthcare. Uh, we are on the you know uh, seventh week understanding panel survey data and uh, the uh, you know title of the MOOC NPTEL uh, MOOC program of my course is, is of exploring survey data. The title of this particular week is panel survey data. And uh, here we are explaining how to have uh, a pseudo panel data. And this is quite rare in, in the existing you know, studies, you know, very less uh, number of uh, studies which uh, could have guided you about pseudo panel and its construction. Therefore, we kept this as a, a specific you know, unit, specific you know, lecture in uh, giving you certain direction about uh, understanding a construction of a pseudo panel data. Uh, so, that you know so many you know large scale data sets cross sectional data set could be actually presented with a panel structure. Uh, here uh, are some background information in social sciences especially in economics data sets combining time series and cross sections are very common. Panel data sets are rich source of information, but in many countries there are there is a lack of genuine panel data where individuals or households observe over time. Panel data generally span short for short period of uh, time and are, are, are subject to non-response attrition bias. Panels on uh, you know countries or, or industrial you know sectors can suffer from structural changes or composition effect that makes it very difficult to maintain the stationarity you know hypothesis for all the variables those, those are carried forward in the next round. Repeated cross sectional uh, you know surveys uh, may be available where a random uh, sample is taken from the population at con consecutive you know uh, point of time such as uh, NSS or NFHS or uh, uh, data sets. Combining cross sections at uh, consecutive points in time, repeated cross sectional you know data gains the replicability over time in absence of genuine panel data. E even if there is uh, no general panel data, but repeated you know studies are taken uh, in different time period. Therefore, a pseudo uh, panel can be constructed. So, the pseudo panel is something where uh, a time series of independent cross sectional you know surveys that have been conducted on the same subject and under the same methodology, but in different time periods could be conceptualized in a data set called pseudo panel. These surveys may be conducted in equal time intervals or may not be con conducted in fixed time interval, uh, but time component uh, is, is required. Uh, so, advantages of pseudo panel uh, is that you know pseudo panel data often provides a way to build models to study longitudinal effects of important variables. Uh, so, longitudinal components of important variables are, are, are continued uh, in this uh, set of uh, pseudo panel methods are widely applied in many fields including microeconomic research and many important areas of social sciences where a genuine panel data is not actually available. Pseudo panel is an alternative of panel data of esti for estimating you know fixed effects models. Okay. Uh, uh, pseudo panels observe cohorts uh, instead of you know individual observations. Common uh, panel uh, da data models such as fast difference uh, and then fixed effect estimations are readily applicable because of its panel structure. Okay, so, so, so uh, you know ac accordingly methods will be employed. Uh, now, we are clarifying on uh, cohorts and, and, and pseudo panel. The principle of pseudo panels is to follow the cohorts instead of the individual uh, uh, you know, as, as the individual persons over time. Okay, so the the cohorts uh, which I have just emphasized are are going to be defined. These are uh, something those are defined in a groups of individuals sharing a set of characteristics that are actually fixed over time. In pseudo panel analysis, individuals are grouped according to a criteria that do not change from one survey to another basically time invariant variables 
are, are considered to be the you know cohorts uh, and these are uh, you know like you know uh, birth year or education level or gender etcetera. Usually you know uh, there, there are not you know much change over time. So, limitations of this data is that the efficiency of cross sectional dimension hampers when estimating with pseudo panel methods and it also occurs a problem of heteroscedacity in the models. Okay, so, there might be some heteroscedacity problem or the, since you know uh, and, and accordingly the efficiency of the model is, is, is compromised to some extent. The pseudo panel models also suffers from a biased estimator problem. Uh, because of these uh, issues. Okay. Now, pseudo panel uh, we estimated uh, with, with uh, the component instead of the individual component we have a cohort component. Okay. Co cohort we have taken C stands for uh, cohort and T is the time dimension for each of the variable. Uh, so, the, the, the estimated uh, you know um, value so, we are basically looking at uh, you know uh, the, the R and R C T. Uh, so, C stands for cohort and time variation and accordingly we will estimate its R value based on these two component. Okay. And uh, the construction of cohorts, uh, we are now guiding the first step for us to construct a cohort uh, and, 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 and based on the selection of the variables and those variables values uh, are usually you know not having much changes over time okay and then uh, you know and then that is uh, and these values uh, uh, these have values for each individual in the sample and uh, cohorts are constructed on a you know variable which is actually you not know, time invariant each individual in the sample must be placed with exactly one cohort Okay, without that it is difficult to uh, you know, uh, uh, define. It must follow uh, the assumption that the cohort terms that is you know um, alpha c t are fixed over time. So, alpha c t star is fixed when the true cohorts contain the same individuals at each you know uh, point or uh, time period. Uh, for construction of cohort, we have taken uh, year data, year of birth data, uh, year in age, year of birth, which is frequently used to construct cohorts in pseudo panel analysis because of its stable characteristics. Many studies use the year of birth as the cohort because of its, you know, it is often available in survey data, all right, and is usually stable. Further, depending on the size of the cross sectional, you know, samples. Uh, closed generations can be grouped to create larger or smaller cohorts. Okay, based on the size, you know, we can able to define you know more you know cohorts or smaller cohorts uh, be, uh, since this variable is usually asked in or are covered in the questionnaire. Uh, cohorts based on other variable are also possible. Uh, like you know, Bordier uh, 1999 constructs paper constructs cohort to study the effects of age on the label and structure of the household consumption for which he has taken generation and level of education as cohort. Uh, so, what about size of cohorts? What should be the ideal size? Uh, some suggestions will count here. The smaller the size of the cohort, the greater the extent of errors while measuring. Uh, empirical you know um, empirical means such as y c t and n x c t and the greater the temporal variability of of means of the individual uh, uh, variability of the means of the individual effects that is alpha c t. So, there will be a greater temporal variability uh, if uh, the size of the cohort is actually smaller. Uh, biasness uh, and an imp imprecision of estimators can be controlled to some extent by increasing the size of the cohort. By 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 create increasing the size of the cohort, we can able to control the biasness and imprecision of the estimators. It is generally considered that hundred individuals per cohort is enough to reduce the sampling uh, errors. So hundred individuals per cohort. Is, is, is enough to reduce the sampling errors as per the suggestions given by these two authors. The criteria of good, good cohorts, 
they they are they they include the variable uh, chosen for the construction of cohort that should be you know time invariant in nature the number of cohorts should be large enough to reduce uh, the measurement errors which we have just guided and uh, the cohort should be larger in size so that the variability can be also maintained in the uh, data uh, now we are guiding about you know construction of uh, pseudo panel for the construction of this uh, pseudo panel we are using uh, two rounds of data that is nss 7 first round and nss 7 fifth round on healthcare uh, okay uh, these two data sets give information on health uh, we are using a le a level 8 uh, from both the rounds uh, that provides information about element of the persons or element persons. The purpose of this lecture is to show how to construct pseudo panel of healthcare data. It does not cover the whole research process and model. We are not uh, interpreting everything or not to write paper at uh, this moment, not to guide about how to complete or analysis, just we have shown how to construct a pseudo panel. The construction of this panel uh, will now guide you, you know, through the process. Uh, some of the process we are not uh, operating, these are very common. Like we need to keep variables of your interest, those are going to be you know, uh, used in the panel data of both the rounds. We need to make sure that variable name is the same in both the rounds of the data set, so that panel can be made otherwise some errors might be generated. If the names are different, then uh, then rename all the variables to match the names in both the data set. That is essential. So we can rename by the command rename old variable and new variable, and or or gen we need to generate year variable in in both the rounds of the data set. So like you know year one or year two or year that particular na year name we can write it down, and year variable is also generated. Then we need to append these two data set with 1 is to 1 append using uh, using the directory file where like you know 71st to 75th or 75th to 71st. So, 1 is to 1 append uh, with the directory name you can give it. Now, we are uh, these are very common and we have already guided in earlier context uh, you know earlier uh, you know um, um, lectures. Now, we are guiding uh, very you know, particularly on cohort and uh, cohort generation. So, to define cohort we are using age of the element persons for cohort and divided into the age group you know they, they uh, once we define that then they, we are actually dividing them uh, or classifying them into age group with the 5 year age bracket. So, uh, all of them with certain different 5 years age bracket we can do that. Then uh, we can also take you know two variables as well. Instead of just one variable as a cohort, you can also uh, generate two variables simultaneously. In that case, the command is e gen cohort. Then we need to make a group variable one and variable two. So the example data set uh, we are using, as I already mentioned, is in NSA seventy first and uh, seventy fifth round. Uh, now I, I will uh, I'm just giving you the direction at this moment. For then we will use directly from there. First, we drop the unnecessary variable, then we will you know, uh, uh, you know sort the you know age, age by the, the variable by age, therefore, by sort command is used, is then with group year, okay, that is the group by group year we sort it, the, okay, and uh, and how we have do, and also we have taken the mean value of the variable that is nature of element. Okay, and uh, <coughs> then uh, then then you know we 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 have uh, uh, defined uh, these steps in front of you. Okay, uh, level of care, then you know, level of nature of treatment, then uh, nature of element. Three important aspect we have also expressed in, in, in the, by their mean values. Okay, uh, but we have sort it uh, sort the data by the gr uh, you know gr group here of that age variable. Then we will summarize that and then we will generate the cohort uh, with their group, group by the age group uh, that variable with the variable here and then we will move to uh, understanding uh, or define the data as cohort as the, 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 the ID variable. Okay. 
then accordingly uh, we will run the uh, regression with fixed effect model because of its uh, in time invariance in nature. Now, these are the steps where I am just going to show it on the screen. We will open the do file on your screen and uh, we can show that uh, you know uh, these are all important and how you can uh, use it for your work directly. So, drop we, we can do the drop for the variables which are not relevant for our analysis. You can also drop on your own way. So, we have dropped it now number of variables have been dropped. Now we will we'll sort it by the you know um, by their mean, by age in group years okay? um, and mean value have generated for each of the variable. Now uh, three you can see nature of uh, treatment, nature of ailment and um, you know level of care. All right. Now next uh, is, is our uh, summarizing uh, our data. Okay. So, you can see uh, the in the summary you can see uh, the, the each of the observations and their mean value and uh, you know their standard deviation and everything is presented on your screen. The variation is not much higher here okay, because of the mean value has been taken in the case. The next one is to group the variable uh, that is uh, the, the you know um, the cohort we are generating age group uh, we are making in, in group group. Okay, so the so group uh, it has it is confined uh, the age age variable into 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 you know in the grouping the variable and that has considered as the um, as, as the panel component and we'll define the command uh, here with the XT set cohort as the panel variable. Okay, and uh, this is how uh, the uh, the computer has read. Strata has read that uh, this is the variable panel variable and this is an unbalanced uh, data. Okay. Now, we can run the regression with its fixed effect uh, model because we know that uh, uh, we have taken you know time invariant uh, model okay. and, and uh, the, the, uh, the, the fixed effect model has been run and you can now uh, see that uh, the probability uh, the p value is significant. All right, and rest of the uh, interpretation uh, we usually do uh, is, is, is also applied as, as here as, as well. Okay, and uh, uh, this is uh, how it, it works. And as we already said that we are not going to interpret everything uh, for as like a paper. We have generated or constructed a uh, pseudo panel. The same technique you can apply uh, apply with so many other databases. And then once your panel data is, is, is generated, you can also work for number of you know uh, number of uh, uh, methodologies uh, like you know policy evaluation techniques for for, for in your paper, and the, those are going to be highly you know, um, uh, you know appreciated by the reviewer uh, because of its 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 you know um, policy implications. All right, so these are all uh, for uh, today and uh, we have uh, covered the uh, pseudo panel for you and if there are any sort of queries in this regard, uh, please do not hesitate and, and, and try to you know come to us and we will try to deal with our team will be most happy to address it.